Wait, where did Cord go? You also Welcome! You also Welcome! Anyway. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 Welcome to <laughs> Session 5 of Fate to Rise of Madness. Uh, this episode, or session, so to speak, if, if you, whatever you want to call it, uh, is called Trials of the Magi Part 2. Now, technically speaking, it's just called that because I named the last one that, and they never got to it because other things <laughs> transpired. So we'll keep trolling uh, along with this title until we finish that arc. <laughs> uh, actually, kind of like the uh, C-Team does. Not really relevant. Uh, so last weekend, of course, we didn't meet because it was our break weekend anyway. But we and went we went to Lexington Comic and Toy Con, which was hmm? delightful. Uh, we met one Matthew Mercer, who is amazing. He, he signed something, right? About this stream? He signed. No. Okay. He didn't uh, even mention it. Didn't have a lot of time. Yeah, of course not. Uh, but here's the thing. Yeah, get, get I don't know that he has a lot of free time he to doesn't. watch it. He doesn't have any. But hey, when you're streaming, turn that shit off and watch us. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well. First of we all, we purposefully do not stream when critical role streams. Yeah. Oh, of course. No, no group that streams D and D, mm. they plan around critical role. Oh yeah, because, because you don't watch it. everyone who might possibly watch their stream watches critical role. <laughs> so there's no point in doing otherwise. Uh, today I will be using. I got a new set of dice. And my D20 was rolled by Matthew Mercer. I also had the same, I had a so, similar, mine was a dollar, uh, but he rolled it. Very excited to use that to, Excellent we'll see, rules. we'll see what happens with it. Um, <clears throat> we're implementing a new uh, cocked die rule that we talked about pre-recording. Um, so if you're watching this live, you got to see that great. If not, it's not piece. super relevant. Hopefully it, it won't uh, come into play too much. Whew. All right. Sure. Now, last week, the crew decides to go and help a distressed and heavily damaged owl bear uh, who came up and talked to Harriet. Uh, they, uh, Quetzal, sort of affectionately named the owl bear Beak, Beak. which is just. Fine. Now uh, they do succeed in killing all of the uh, poachery type folks, um, leaving Ammon, the merchant fellow, uh, who sort of hired you guys on, leaving him unguarded, unguarded at the uh, still kind of on the off the side of the road. What is that mini? I've never seen that mini. What is that? What's the gray one? It's his. Oh, that's his. Oh, that's his. I want to see it. That's the one. I want to see it. Dude, Whoa. that is rad. Yeah. Eli's going to paint it. Huh? Eli's going to paint it. Super dope. Oh, how neat. Anyway. Dude. So, I think they did too. Plot points were spent. You had to put it together. Oh, like his shield new, and his cable. The, the, uh, the, uh, the, the folks who are now oh, at plastic the table. Uh, do any of you have... <laughs> what type of plastic is that? Do any of you have potions of healing? Uh, it's not printed, it's... Like, cast. Cast? cast? Yeah, like yeah. You do? Cast How many do you have? Uh, he's two. He's molded. He's quite mold. You don't have to move. Okay. Just letting you know. Okay, thank you. Oh, you're right in here. Um, potions of healing. For... Cain. Now, when you use them, you give them back. If it's a single-use item, obviously, uh, if you don't use it uh, multiple times. Do you have one of those for the dark shard okay, amulet? I have uh, uh, one. What that's is good. That? I, thought, I thought it was going to be asked to share. I have one. Oh, regular. from the other guy? That wasn't bad. No, I haven't had a chance to do any of those yet. I have no. one regular. Okay. And that's it. I have been industrious in my creation of oh, no. potion cards. I have 20 total made. In the way. You received, because plot points were spent, you received a couple of other items. Now, to save on time, uh, and really with, with Magical Items in 5th Edition, you just have to spend a little time with them in order to derive what they are, minus, of course, the, the identify spell. 
Um, if it's cursed. You and I don't have anything for just like basic magic weapons, like plus one or yeah, whatever, in the top. Uh, because I don't think that's super important. And you'll have that very definitely written down. Cool and cool for it. On your top one. Uh, sheet. Oh, so three items. No. Oh, yes. hang on. Total uh, quantity of loot. There are seven gems found. I will need those, yes, thank you. I must use them to great effect. Oh, I got any phone. I'm checking you up. Okay. Huh? I any phone. Seven gems. Oh, okay. I'm actually getting uh, a new phone, too. I'm getting the next one. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, you find like a tomorrow. plus one long sword. Uh, what are the gems worth? Uh, fifty gold. Uh, 50, I'm sorry, fifty white drop each. Hey, guys, we need a castle. Can I have this plus one? They worked out so well for us last time. Give me something like a great sword or a crush. Uh, yeah. You need yeah. like a great sword or a great axe. I have a great sword right now. You don't want to rock a shield, barbarian. You want that? You want that deep? I else. want a shield until I'm level five. Oh, okay. Uh, and then so, I'll be okay with oh, no, doing the great sword because I have that movement. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. I can throw it away. But until level five, I want to shield. Well, that is very doable in oh, yeah, a good. city or anywhere yeah. that has we any black yeah. We're in small towns though right now. Right now, you're just out in the woods. Yeah. Uh, sort of on the way to town. Shopkeep! <laughs> uh, okay. You, find, we'll a, you anyway. find a ring. Okay, this is on the wizard. So, or, can I have that long sword for now? I mean, I'm fine with that. Um, or, can we let him finish? Sorry. Yeah. No worries. You can divvy this up however you wish in just a moment. Uh, you search, and we're just going to do like a call 20 kind of thing because it's, you know, you have some time to do this. You find a ring in the uh, sort of remnant goo that is the wizard. Uh, that is the ring of jumping. Uh, which is pretty handy. Does anyone want the ring of jumping? But I can fly. I can use it. Uh, there's also the One cloak strength, of elven kind. Ooh. But I'm not, but I'm not here. Yes. Uh, <laughs> while you wear this cloak with the hey, hood up, oh, yeah, perception checks to see you have this advantage. No, you, you should have that. And like, jump you have small and jump. advantage on stealth checks to hide. Elven kind? Yeah. Very handy. Oh, I uh, who. Pulling the hood uh, up or too down bad we don't know a rogue. is an action. We're an assassin. Is That's an important. I had that written down here because it's an important note. Pulling the hood up it. or down is an action. Okay. Because uh, the sort of magicalness is only works with the hood up. Interesting. Uh, I, yeah, that's awesome. Gotta sleep the hood up all. So oh. you may divvy those up as you that. wish. That's what I was gonna ask. You. For sure. <clears throat> so that because you two are the only ones that aren't stealthy. And you're not going to be stealthy. Never. <laughs> we need armor. you the ring of jumping. Yeah, and you just, just no, jump yeah. it. <laughs> no, no point in, in giving you <laughs> anything down. stealth based. Uh, um, fucks. <clears throat> All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Two Reynolds. Oh, goodness. Hey, That's uh, right. Right you, could you toss me one more pencil? Kane, you've been going a little bit. Elsewhere. Yes. Elsewhere. Obviously, you're not with the party. Uh, and you find yourself, at the current moment, walking uh, through some woods. And um, you're sort of flanked by some additional shadowy folk. Uh, uh, keeping stride with you is a tall elven woman whose name you know is Andrea. Andrea. Which I need to actually write down because I made that up at work today when I was just thinking about D&D. &D because <laughs> I do that sometimes. Andrea! <laughs> I got a new NPC! <laughs> I've come up with a new NPC! <laughs> this is episode 5, right? Yes. This is episode 5, yeah. Uh, okay. And you've already read the note that you were given that I sent you uh, yeah. on your Felly Town a while ago. Yeah, we actually was in the Did I send it to you over Facebook? Yeah, yeah Facebook Messenger. Yeah, it's easier for me to do that at work. Yeah, um, you can do it on your screen instead or computer instead. Yeah. 
And Andrea or, is, is sort of walking with you. Um, she says, This is going to be your first interrogation. Uh, a sort of test, if you will, for you. I will be here, naturally, by your side, uh, <coughs> assisting, sort of f f adding any fill-in questions as needed. But I think you can handle it. You also have the, uh, the sort of fake, it looks very real, but the, the, the sort of uh, note mm -hmm. that is sort of, that was included with the, the, the official note. The thing about yeah. the bounty. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah. You sent me that uh, too, right? I didn't, I, I mean, I, I, I don't have it. Oh. it. It's just like written in the note. I don't yeah. have anything like official. I'll, I'll, I'll describe it when it becomes relevant. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now, you guys, back to the, the sort of rest of the group, you all are, are sort of looting all of the various poacher bodies. Um, the tent that the, the little baby cage thing was next to didn't have really anything in it um, there were what was what what looked like some uh, like random assortment of items um, there was there's a cot a couple boxes there's a cot some right. cups cot a couple boxes uh, really blankets. there's like a little bit of food uh, not a whole lot if going on. If there's any on. jerky sitting out, I'm taking that, but otherwise, no. There <laughs> is <laughs> not. <laughs> but I... Just uh, making a point. <laughs> yeah. There, There is some dried food. Like, they have some... Uh, I guess you technically quantify it as, like, unleavened bread. Yeah. Uh, which lasts much longer. The, the survival stuff. Yeah. Uh, We're fine. We lamb is bread. But that's pretty much it, like rations. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, so we should probably so. get back to uh, the camp. Mm -hmm. Camp. You start to um, head out. And uh, you make it back. Again, it's yeah, not a far sword. walk. I'm giving you a plus one longsword. Awesome. Yeah. Shield right now. It is not a a far walk to get back to the wagon because mm -hmm. it was just like in, in in a little patch of forest yeah. off the side of the road. Um, when you arrive back to the wagon, mm -hmm. you can hear before you even see the wagon. You can hear Ammon uh, kind of irately talking to someone. I'm gonna run, take off running. You're gonna run. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I he's just like, literally, I pull yeah, out my sword and take just, off running. They just left me, like they went off. Apparently, they can talk to owl bears. That's weird. Hey, hey, and, hey! We we took care of it. Well, <laughs> so you you dart out before yeah. everyone else, um, and you see that uh, the wagon is it's not surrounded per se. Yeah, but there's like a a sort of semicircle of people in front of the like horses that that draw his wagon. Yep. And they're all dressed in uh, black leather, like yeah, very form-fitting black leather. Um, Tight. You don't see a lot by way of weapons on them. Not going to. Um, They're sort of in the middle of, of, of this group, and there's maybe eight of these guys. Um, so, in the middle of, of, of these, there's a tall elven woman. Of course. And a. How tall are you, Kane? Five. Seven. Five, seven ish. Eight. Five, eight ish. Eight. Yeah. He's, he's about my size. Um, yeah, so the elven woman's about six, one, six, two. Like, she's pretty, she's she's pretty probably tall. Probably six. She's pretty tall. And Kane, of course, is much shorter. 
Uh, it looks much shorter sitting next to the very tall one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when you sort of burst out of the trees, they all turn to you. And the first thing... And I, I'm literally like, oh, hey, guys, yeah. I'm here, yeah. by the way. I'm the just standing thing. there with a great sword out, but I don't come closer. I'm just like, oh, hey, guys. <laughs> yeah. The first thing that you notice is um, the ones that are, like, because the, the six, the other six that yeah. are around them just uh, reach their hands out and uh, bows form from shadow. It's just there. Oh. <laughs> and... <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I don't come forward once, yeah. we, 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 once we make eye contact. Oh, right. yeah. They all will, and like they, yeah. they all kind of come come out through the trees mm -hmm. a little bit after you, and yeah, see see that they have drawn bows. Yeah, um, I'm going to immediately dismiss my sword and just. <laughs> I have no trouble with with Penumbra. <sighs> The elven woman uh, steps up. All right, we'll line up. We have a few questions for you. Uh, this is probably line up over here by this wagon. Don't admit guilt yet. I uh, you don't know what's happening. I want to speak in bird, an avian, like not like pretend like I don't know common. <laughs> what do you <Anyway>. say? <laughs> just, just ah! make random bird noises. <laughs> no, like, 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 are you saying anything? No, in, I'm in just making random bird noises. <laughs> making random bird noises. You're saying. That's hilarious. Yeah. You say yeah, we'll in avian. I'm making random bird noises. <laughs> <laughs> and it, and, and that's what it sounds like. Um, that's really funny. <laughs> and and she uh, she kind of like looks at you. <laughs> And then, uh, as weird as it sounds, she responds in avian. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and, says, and says, that's great. Line up. <laughs> Come on. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> and then I just see you just, just shuffle over. Um, we were hired. This fan. Oh, she has oh, to Hang on. Yeah. She's not I, taking questions. Don't I, you just, you just give it away. Why is everyone <laughs> submitting guilt to somebody? Who I, 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 I am I not the one who oh, yeah. will be a, who will be asking these questions. Oh, good. Would you like to introduce you like yourself? Because you you've never done that to these people yet. Can, do we recognize him from the bar? Because several of us have yes, him in there. Yes, you do, but you don't know his name. Yeah, none of us know. Don't, don't I know you? It's been a. It's been a few weeks. So it's been a while. It's so been be it's it, it's been about a week. Um, I, I was like, a <laughs> it was like she's like you're alive still, <laughs> fantastic. So do we ha do we have a title right as this group so far? Not that we discussed. Mm -mm. We are just a bunch of random people. <laughs> oh, I want to say I am the leader, but in, in Bert. <laughs> She 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 sort of gives ka -ka, ka -ka. she sort of relays that and says away. this one says that <laughs> she knows what you're she saying gave me away <laughs> she understands what you're saying that's okay yeah, she's like, like proceed or whatever and she kind of like steps back uh, and will similarly uh, draw her shadow bow like it just kind of forms yep. from from her hand it, it it forms both directions it's probably a ring uh, it's super rad. <laughs> Shadow stuff bow. That's, that's a I know. I know. <laughs> it's Penumbra. There's some. Would anyone like to tell me who killed these men? Ah, Fishman. <laughs> or is that like the other people around? Are they still like the dead well, bodies. Well, you're you're the out bodies. by the, the wagon, but okay. How far away were the bodies? Uh, five. 600 feet, maybe. Okay. What bodies? They're back yeah. in the woods. <laughs> the, ones, the ones back in the woods. What bodies? Oh, that was us. <laughs> yes. Okay. So you willingly admit that you killed members of the guild. Okay. They were Baseline poaching. Baseline started. They were poaching. Who's, who said that they didn't have a license? Who says that they weren't being officially on uh, sanctioned through the guild? 
Did you, did you check into this? The owlbear <laughs> mom said that. Oh, <laughs> oh the owlbear told you. Yes. Well, these are, uh, that is correct. <laughs> that, that, okay, you're, you're free to go. Oh, well, well, thank you, sir. Thank you. We will take our leave. <laughs> do, do we bow and leave? <laughs> you know, as he says that, like, uh, like, got the, uh, like the guys behind him kind of like start to train a little like sharper. Well, they're not... They don't have arrows drawn, but it's like, do you make to leave? Yeah, I'll, I'll like. I'll okay, you. when you do that, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> they do draw their bows and aim at you. No, now, they're they're not shooting; they're just holding, what and they're you? they're actually awaiting a command from either Kane or uh, the other. All right, hey, bird. Girl. Don't say anything else. You just stand there. Guys, we're good to go. So we. Can <laughs> <laughs> Bird man, you just told you us we leave. I'm sorry, my sense of humor tends to go over past some people. So I'll be uh, blunt. I'm, an, I'm a shitty charisma. So I can't talk. <laughs> Y'all have have murdered members of the guild that were, to your knowledge, fully within their rights and fully within the law. Well, they attacked us upon sight. That is true. So then, is there anyone else who, like, who would back this up? You all seem like a pretty tight knit group. We, we, we just met five weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> we met a week ago. They escorted me. We don't even have a name yet. <laughs> <laughs> we are no ones. Yes. We met in the bar. <laughs> Where was that? I don't remember you all. Uh, that was in. I got this written down. Fissian. Because nice. I had to burn the fucking town down. <laughs> That's why I had it written down. Back at, back at the town of Fissian. We were Fissian. in a bar. There was a bar fight, and he stabbed somebody in the neck. No, I was in a bar oh, fight. I, I did hear about that, actually. You was there! <laughs> I saw you. So as far as the owlbears are concerned, these are um, sentient creatures, and I can't entirely speak for the entire group, but I will tell you right here and now, I will not abide by such things on sentient creatures. Technically speaking, owlbears are not sentient. Oh, they like, talk? They, well... They're aware of their they, life they and death? Be, yeah, that's true. That's, that's kind of the fair. ground rules Well, of okay, it's f- fair enough. But their, like, intelligence is super low. So My baby of, gone! Hell! <laughs> <laughs> My baby gone! My baby gone! You got... <laughs> My baby! You got, really hope owlbears have, like, <laughs> red yes, kind southern of, accents. Kind of, uh, <laughs> Gave the more coherence, uh, but the ranger. Well, it, I mean, hunt. is it yeah. sanctioned to hunt such creatures though? Sometimes they're technically monsters. They are technically monsters. A baby. Interesting. Yeah. So yes, they. Uh, you could argue that they have some degree of sentience, but they're not like fully intelligent. All right, I'm going to take a step forward. So this is what happened. Since you seem to be interested in the truth. Mm-hmm. An owlbear came out of the woods, bloodied, and beaten, and scared. Uh, and scared for her life and the life of her child, came up to us, a squatch friend, and asked for assistance uh. in recovering the child. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So we went to their camp, where they immediately fired upon us, and a fight ensued. We freed the child, and we, ca- and we returned here immediately. Use it now. So, you see, it just doesn't quite add up because we also have a document here stating that you, Crowley, yes, we know of you, Crowley. I would, I would assume so. I so know on site. That, and we also know of your Dream Bazaar. Yeah. So, and we have a, a receipt to, of purchase for a infant owl bear. For your bizarre, now, huh? that seems a little <laughs> contradictory huh? to what you're telling me. And I'll hand him the form. Since you are penumbra, uh, is there a form that I need to look at? Uh, I, 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 okay, so I don't have an official document. <laughs> I didn't make that or anything. But what he hands you is, um, it looks like something that would be posted like in a tavern or something in, in, in a town. Uh... And it says, you know, wanted, baby owlbear, um, unharmed. Uh, they're offering 100 gold, say, for it. Uh, no, I'm sorry, that's not enough for anybody to want to do it. 100 gold! I'll say, like, 500 gold for yeah. it. Um, and it's sort of undersigned, if you will, by 
the Crowley Dream Bazaar. Huh. I'm going to read it over and say... Uh, specifically, <coughs> Promelia. You've got some splitting to do. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Promelia, isn't that your mother's mm-hmm. name? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's got her name on it. Okay, so <laughs> let me tell you how <laughs> I believe <laughs> this order <laughs> of events has gone. <laughs> so you've posted this this uh, wanted ad for someone to acquire you a baby owlbear. You followed them. So Andrea, the, Andrea kind of... Uh, perks up when you um, mention that and, and says uh, unlicensed by the way you followed the unlicensed it's a guild member well no, wait, that's probably the, unlicensed time. the note the, the, yeah. the like wanted thing was unsanctioned by the guild okay posted so, by so why was the yeah, guild so you, you then <laughs> followed them as they went for, uh, to track down since so you clearly couldn't do it yourselves. So, and whenever they did find them, you slew them so that you would ha- uh, not have to pay out to you the reward that you offered. <laughs> that is a wonderful story. It is, it is a it is worthy this, of a t- of a This is what tale. the facts support. It's worthy of a bard's tale. <clears throat> However, that's not what happened. Mm. You can track our movements for over the past week. And we've not been in any bar where this sign has been posted. We came from Fissian <laughs> down to here. So again, this isn't posted directly from you. It's from... Oh, so I had contact with my family, which I've not had contact with my family in months. Yes. Let's go. It's a... Family, let's go. You're aware of how easy it is to, to have letters passed up along, aren't you? Well, I'm completely aware. So have you been in any town? Lately? Fissian. And what was that last one we were in? Isarov. Isarov. He's been to most of those supposed to roll for that. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. He's supposed to roll for that. How about oh, this? sorry. <laughs> How about this? You're right. I forgot. <laughs> Do you have anyone around who can cast a spell to compel someone to, t- to speak the truth? Any poisons? Anything that will allow you to do this? Because I will freely <laughs> no. submit. Uh, How about you, Krishna? Can you do this? Zone of Truth. I don't think I have that. Second level spell. It is a second level spell. Huh. Oh, he no. doesn't have those yet. That's fifth level. That's good. We just got That's a rose. fun... I'm going to maybe add that to, to the Penumbra spell list, though, because that's pretty handy. Anyway, we'll see. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. It's uh, a, a good idea. Good thought. <laughs> so, good thought. so your evidence points you in this direction, but you have no direct evidence showing that I, Aloysius Crowley, who has not had any contact with his family for several months, has had anything to do with this. Is this correct? Except for the fact that you just slew members of the guild, openly admit that you did this, and you have a direct link pointing to why they were in the vicinity. Circumstantial evidence as far as the connection to my family. I'm just going to put like my, my hands up and be like, oh. <laughs> I had no so part of this. <laughs> this is because of my sister, isn't it? We, the rest of us knew nothing us. about this. The disordering of the hit on the Albert. Sister. It's little, oh, come on. We, we don't know. I'm not even looking at you anymore. I look over at, at what was her name? Andrea. Andrea. This is because of Nyx, isn't it? You're trying any, any excuse to find her. There's no facial shit. Like, there's no hand at all. Re- of like registering that name. <clears throat> Who Penumbra searches for, and the m- measures we take to find them, is none of your business, nor is it relevant to what we're talking about now. Owl bears. You have questioned me most of the times <laughs> about my sister's whereabouts. I told you I do not know where she is. I'm I'm currently well aware searching for her. That is why I have left my home. I have left my daughter to find her. Oh. We are well aware of that. That is not what we're talking about here. But I have had no... It's like, but my contact. sister! <laughs> I've had no contact with my family. Not since I left a month ago. Mm. I, don't, I don't know how else I can make you believe me. That I had n- the, the only thing that I was trying I to do, I and my friends side. here were trying to do, was protect <laughs> a baby out there. 
It's all your sign. There's no way that I can prove that. I mean, I don't have anything on me that will show you otherwise. Unless you have magics that allow you to speak with the dead. Or well, what about the assholes that run away? The yeah. Oh, there yeah. are few people in the woods that may corroborate this because they ran away from the fight. Maybe. You probably don't want to use that as an extra. And I'll point. Surviving guild I want to surviving. point and say, there he is. Can I roll for that? Uh, as in to like get... Just to like point out something. <laughs> I'm like, there he is. The woods, like, I want to point the woods and say, there he is. Oh, He's going to point. Luck. Uh, oh. Now, oh, that's an interesting Do use. you want to spend a plot point to have him be visible yeah. darting out of the woods? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He wants to roll a luck point or a okay. roll for luck to see if yeah. he sees Erase your plot point yeah. for this session. Uh, so, there's. Oh, there um, Not yet. Kind of off, off to the. Uh, oh, <laughs> other side of this little patch of forest there's a it's barely audible but you see a person uh, just hauling ass <laughs> just booking it down the way right uh, so they, you say Someone shoot him. look Quick. there he is um, go ahead and uh, give me huh give me a persuasion roll Mm. You sure not like a survival? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this is a life or death situation right now. So yeah, that's not what survival's used for. Damn it. <laughs> no, I should have not used for that whatsoever. The wording is tricky, but no. Okay. Uh, 15. Not bad. Oh, wait. Plus zero. <laughs> Great. At least it's not minus. Oh, right. woo. that's important. Yeah, that is very important. Uh, she. The one person skill I don't have. She looks. Uh, she she does actually look over. That <laughs> look at that. And she. <laughs> Let's take off. She raises her hand like this, two fingers, and goes. Pew. And uh, freezes one, them. Pew, pew, one of pew. them. One shot. <laughs> One of them that 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 have their their bows trained on you guys turns. I think we're okay, guys. <laughs> Did okay. and this is like because he would have told this, this is a, that was one of your guild members. This is a long shot, like five hundred feet away. A golf clap kind of thing. Like it's a good shot. <laughs> Um, that was one of the surviving members who could corroborate our story. Mm, he was a surviving member. <laughs> so, yeah. so get the corroborator story. So there's no yeah. survivors, there's no one to corroborate our story, so you're trying to railroad us. Is that what you're doing? No. What do you need? Actually, uh, and this is the point at which she uh, cracks a smile. Uh... And she, she looks to Cain and says, I think they'll do well. <laughs> what? I really love these. The people you killed, the poachers that you killed, this is Andrea still speaking, were, in fact, members of the guild. But they have since been uh, doing unsanctioned jobs, being otherwise corrupt. Oh, thank God, because we killed the shit out of them. <laughs> 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 we definitely attacked yeah. us. No Make attack, actually. <laughs> uh, yes, we are well aware of your actions. She crossed your man's uh, skull. It, 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 was, it was brutal. Uh, I'm just gonna... You handled. Just, just flat face I set on fire. <laughs> you handled the interrogation well, so um, we should be rewarded. Come. That note <laughs> is entirely you, fake. You can keep I would it assume so. It would have more flair like. if it was my family. Oh, well, it's got flair. It's no, it's it's, it's an excellent forgery, actually. Like it's you you thought it was real, at least at first. Um. We don't see dick butt. I you were a dick butt. dick butt right on that ladder. We should have caught that. <laughs> don't push your luck. Okay. 
Done well. You handled the interrogation uh, rather smoothly. And the primary reason for that is we have a few openings for a group in the Fate Breakers. Oh, hey, hey. wait, Fate Breakers. We're a group. <laughs> Specifically, <laughs> now, <we're> fate. <laughs> you all know. Probably knuckles pop. Just. You all know that crack. that there. Uh, within the Fate Breakers, there are a series of different regiments. Uh, and they are used and staffed uh, for different purposes. Um, the, the, the common knowledge? Yeah. Okay. The White Regiment is mostly uh, clerics and other healer types. They usually are sent uh, whenever like major, uh, major diseases spread and some things like that. Uh, they go to kind of help deal with that. Nip it in the bud early, so to speak. Uh, the red regiment is um, it's the chef regiment, right? No, Damn. there isn't a regiment specifically dedicated to. You're chefs. in the so kitchen. Uh, go. Uh, there's not. Uh, and there you the go. red regiment right is tiny and tomato. On. And then some of this I'm kind of making up on the fly here. Uh, the red regiment. You is, never say that out loud, man. Uh, it's all good. Hey. Hey, he's just showing off. All good. Well, I just have my kitty butthole. They, yeah. <laughs> they Make are it. primarily. Um, Isn't it clean? Destruction type, like uh, evoker wizards and uh, sorcerers, warlocks. Um, obviously, there are some other uh, beefier types who are of that regiment to protect them, sort of bodyguards, if you will. Uh, they are usually sent when things need to be uh, destroyed hastily. The Black Regiment is more for... Uh, it's kind of for the jobs that nobody else really wants to do. They're, it's kind of the dirtier stuff, if you will. Well, that's us. We're not over it. No. Um, they still must operate within guild law. There is a regiment, and you you you've heard of it, but it's not frequently uh, bandied about except by those who are kind of in the know. It's almost as much um, like urban legend. Kind of. Um, For sure, fight club. Well, you don't. Some fight some fight. know that it that it it does exist. Uh, some I would say many more do not. So it's kind think of think that it's just made up. Yeah. Um, that is the Free Regiment. The Free Regiment, wherein we have our openings, is a group of individuals who can operate outside of Guild Law. Oh, fuck yeah, license to kill. <laughs> like the number does. Like 007. Does she know? Does she know? Does she recognize that? Meta knowledge. It's just like a super spy turn. Now, the jobs that the Free Regiment takes on are incredibly dangerous. And we will likely die. And it is it has very high risk. There's a reason there's an opening. Similarly, <laughs> that makes sense. There is very high reward. I like that. The merchants, uh, knowing that you are of the Free Regiment, will usually give you some degree of discount, which is quite handy. Does this apply at Sven's? Uh, probably. It depends. It just, yeah, it depends on... Me and we're, we're tight. <laughs> None of her years. Sven hasn't been seen in a long time. I, I've heard so stories. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Nice backtrack. Yeah. No. <laughs> the official name of the group yeah, is Steen Ronaz. Oh, yeah, that's what she does. Um, so, what was that? S T I N R O N A Z. It means Free Regiment. Yeah, and uh, Draconic. Something over here. Steen Ronaz. Yes. Now. No. Let me pronounce it. Uh, 
Yeah. There are, are <laughs> identifying marks that we can set up for you to be able to notify people that you are of the Free Regiment. Up, assuming, of course, that you all wish to uh, join. There is, of course, a sign-on bonus. Oh. Ooh. Um, I would recommend as um, I have a little spark. once you become <laughs> a, a sort of group, if cat. you will, that you have a group fund pool. Obviously, you don't have to do that. We already um, have that, I guess. Just, yes, it's me. Well, it just, it just can. Try, try to see if it. It just can <laughs> can make it a little. Well, that means it'll only grow more. Right? It's true. <laughs> now, do you? Uh, where do you all stand on joining this particular group? Sounds like fun! Possibility of death? I'll Loot? join, but I want to be the leader. No. Yeah. No. He no. says this in bird. I say bird language. No one understands him. Yeah. So we just keep on talking without him, and she obviously knows exactly. that you can't be. <laughs> she responds in avian, that's not up to me. <laughs> Damn. I have one question. Yes. We're running back to comment. Would I have any license to assist in the efforts to find my sister? I'm sure that that can be arranged. And possibly my brother. Uh, that I might actually hire, like, like, put the job out for us again. Okay. And uh, Domkos, of course. Of course mm. that's different. I have a question. Can I make sure I get discounts on Tinkering? repairing myself? Can Can someone teach me how to do this to myself so I can, uh, <laughs> you know, do on the... We're going to say that you... Uh, okay, so originally... No. Uh, I was going to be the character. It was going to be his other character. Mm. But he switched it up uh, before we started, which is fine. Yep. And so the way I have it now is, provided you have at least one functional hand, you can do corrections. Like, you can repair yourself. Because you were taught how to do that by your creator. Am I able to do a thing thing? Like, you know, like, <laughs> you want hand off? I'm going to say no, because that's a little OP. Unless, uh, maybe, like maybe Mage, not. Kind of like Mage Hand later on. Well, but. Mage Hand can, like, fly and stuff. Yeah. So, oh, no, no, no. I just wanted to be able to, like, give rock it all back to me. I want to do some, like, kind of. Okay. Uh, we can say that that's possible mm. uh, until but I have to have the hand until it, I guess I, until it becomes you know oh yeah like overpowered for whatever I, reason. I'll keep it balanced we'll see we'll just see to make sure I don't fuck this up that goes. Yeah. <laughs> so I threw it on his face certainly <laughs> uh, certainly possible okay, so. yes no see now that's when it gets hey, nerfed I can't uh, do that was, you could use that kind of like duplicity works oh, and uh, it could be Andrea. used to, it could mm. cast a spell if, if, after a range of yeah. yeah. uh, that's an interesting idea. But it would be used kind of like duplicity is as a kind of a ability you only. Well, have yeah. duplicity but is an illusion. Yeah, uh, but so it quite work. Can't, but it can cast from the. It other can one. cast like touch touch spells and stuff. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. you have to make a range attack roll. Well, same thing um, with the. Uh, I don't know um, about familiar. that just yet, but it doesn't like he doesn't his his yeah. his ability. Doesn't require touch. Oh yeah, he doesn't. It's like cast within him. his range, uh, anyway. which I think is thirty feet from him. Um. Anyway, yeah, exactly. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost dead. By the way. Make an actual portal game. Uh-huh. You've been also quiet of late, Harriet. We we spent the night on his. Just sort of uh, listening in. Uh. Good job, by the way. Owlbear, owl, owl bear thing. Where do you stand on this free regiment thing? <laughs> what if someone's like, nah, I don't want to do this? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> See ya. It is a choice, of course. You don't have to join. Kick off and leave. But I would prefer it if you, as a group, agreed <clears throat> or disagreed. Well, we need a name for ourselves. So, so this. Yes. 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 we'll just go by Steam Runners at the work. You well, okay. So about the, bird people. The, the <laughs> overarching group that you're in is the Free Regiment, Cut. of course, Steam Runners. Uh, if you wish to have a uh, sort of more defining sub name, if you will, or there you go. What you sort of call your group, that 
is just fine. Okay. Uh, you may hmm? give us that. You may give us that whenever you wish. The Misfits. Um, now I got a good idea. Hmm? Harry Pockets. Harry Pockets. Yeah. That's <laughs> Harry <laughs> Pockets. Pockets. Because I got the some over some verbal. I just don't know how it happened. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. So we're all agreed that I'm. Um, no. You're not the leader. Why can't I be the leader? Because you have no charisma. I don't need charisma to be You the also leader. try yes, to run do. away. But I'm smart. Uh, <laughs> I'm real smart. You you stabbing leader. bitches in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> Between all of us, I would say either me or him. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, not called. Person I can do it. Person. Who's more? Chris- who has better charisma? I have a twenty. Oh. I'm just okay. sure. <laughs> then you. Uh-oh. No, yeah, he's the leader. He's the charisma one. Yeah, I'm the he's face. the one who talks. Yeah, we need yeah. we need and a pretty face in front. So yeah, charisma. Though. Oh, so be, uh, yeah, yeah, but his is going to be maxed out. You're going to have your strength. Now, up each there. group, oh. my charisma sixteen. Yeah, each so you're group like the secondary has leader. Uh, Back him up. Say something. <laughs> or or uh, sort of members, if you will, uh, that fulfill roles as part of their little group within the regiment. Um, which I thought about doing this. What's what happened? A little earlier. Burr. So, Betrayal. You know, that's my role. <laughs> obviously, Jeff. these can Burr. change over time as you sort of learn to sort of fill these roles. You can always switch them up. Just let us know. Um, who is to be leader? I didn't vote for him. Not my leader. Your vote doesn't count. Um, <laughs> hashtag uh, not my leader. Hashtag <laughs> not my leader. <laughs> is, is that acceptable? Yes. All out. I accept. I accept. Crowley. Aloysius. Mr. Crowley. Crowley. Oh, no. Fair enough. <laughs> like a lot of us. I don't know if you've got records, but there's a lot of us. Uh, um, we know. Who is to be? Assistant regional man. The <laughs> assistant <laughs> regional man. <laughs> what shall we call it? The treasure Customer keeper. Oh, so that's also... <laughs> Uh, All the eggs in one basket. Wait, what? So what's the role? I have the bag of Hogan. Well, that's all really good, but you can't do everything. Here, I open my chest and just stick it in there. Just gonna... So she said... (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so... (laughs) Clank! She pulls out like a little tiny notepad and starts writing it. And she doesn't ask you your name. She, she says we, We've already realized she knows who we are, so we're just yeah. not going to deal with that right Plank. now. you will be the keeper of Is treasure. Treasure. Um, I will text you what's in there now. Thank God. Unless otherwise specified, anything that you find is for your regiment. Ah. As far as when you're on mission. Let's so divvy it up for some reason. Uh, Technically speaking, again, you work outside of guild law, which means technically that you can steal from guild members, unsanctioned. However, if you were caught, that is none of our business. We will understand this. Forgotten. To quote uh, Mission Impossible, uh, (laughs) if you are caught or killed, the guild will disavow all knowledge of your actions. Yes. Uh, so if there's a you, movie, a whole movie that happens after that. So that's okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the makers it's like four. Yeah, but technically, yeah. You're not part of this. Come, come back. <laughs> Let's see. So I thought about the names. Um, okay. Are we gonna add one more person? So will be eight of us playing regularly, or is it gonna be seven uh, of us playing regularly? I have uh, sort of, sort of segue side note thing. Um, Lauren can't. Yeah. Because she because she uh, became the committee chair of the National so Young Democratic thing, Committee. Yeah. And that's fine. Yeah. She, wants no, to she, be. she 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 doesn't uh, have time for this. She, right. She um, knows. Dave works early. Yeah. Saturday. Yeah. So he can't play either. I do not have. Uh, and of course Tiffany uh, is busy as well. Yeah. Doing the things so it, that she does. Um, so. Uh, I do not have an eighth player, so for now, I'm going to say no. But I'm technically open to it. Okay. Uh, I was thinking of the 
I've got. I've actually got a friend who might be interested if you want me to ask. Sure. Second was talking about wanting to do it too. Yeah. Are you who? Second. Second, who was here last week? Chris oh. Or last session? Oh, yeah, that's Mr. Halston, right? Yeah, yeah. but he, can he make it every time we play? We well, said he could. He he now has a car. It's oh, his. that's good. Uh, and huh? Yeah. Really? Well, I, was well, there, was there was something along the lines of or he was about to get one. Did you, did you miss that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, was there anyway, just like keeping messages on this. I'll just skip it. The next roll. Oh, the the Peruvian armament or the octopus. There's only seven of you. Yeah, I know. That, That's it, why I wanted to know if there were eight. But yeah. we can leave a, a space open in the regiment for okay uh, for that purpose if if you wish to to do so. Yeah. I, Good. Uh, well, you can again. Do you have plenty of time? You can even change your name later if you want. We don't care, as long as we get record of it. Speaking of that, uh, who is to be the record keeper? Who, 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 who gives good notes? I, I'll do the notes. Officially. I like Drunk Rainer doing it. That was my favorite. Right. Of almost all of them. Drunk Rainer? His notes? Oh, God. God, they were great. He's, he's a trip. Yeah, you see the <laughs> first, like, sections of Technically fate. Technically, in-game, could we players. really give you that responsibility? No, you couldn't. No. Absolutely not. Um, uh, my character it? will remember names of people pretty well, but I, do he, I'm not going to... It'll be way funnier. In-game, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 I'll try to explain yeah. it. I'll try so, to she asks, who is to be the record keeper? And Finn's like, me! Yeah. <laughs> That's just a bad idea. Like, do you yeah. know no, what just, a record keeper is? I'm just going to look at no. him with my back to Finn. <laughs> no, but I want to do it. This is good. This is not good. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's really great. No. Um, do we know you're coming with us yet? No. Okay. No, he, he was the, you the mean, know, intimidating one. With you. He was like the one we should have been scared of. Okay, uh, for oh, entertainment okay. purposes, I will yeah. put <laughs> that bitch came oh, to come with us. <laughs> <laughs> or are they afraid you? Well, uh, be free to discuss it among yourselves. What have you done, uh, boy? Oh, yeah, I'm down. Record keeper. You wish to be the record keeper. Okay. I mean, it's probably not a good idea, but I'll, I'll do my best. Okay. <laughs> probably do better than the barbarian. You don't really want uh, a lot of records in this kind of group, right? So. <laughs> Well, like, not brief, in the. <laughs> like, she gives us a draw race board. It's like keep it on this. <laughs> <laughs> not in the uh, uh, sort of standard way that we normally keep records of everything, um, but we would, you know, you do need to keep us involved with. Like, Embellish the shit out of those. As far like as we killed like six dragons know. with one arrow. Okay. <laughs> it was really just a bunch of goblins that were actually kind of dead already. <laughs> they were like all sick. Yeah. <laughs> we basically just kicked some corpses, got some XP, left. Oh, <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, your guild representative. I'm sorry, what? Is that explaining? You, okay, your yeah, guild representative that, um, K-E-I-N. will be Kane. C-A-I-N. Kane! Oh, okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> Where's the head of that? Excuse me. Who's the nine heads? He's Kane. Oh, he's good. I'll be doing what? <laughs> You're the guild you? representative. Guild representative. Like, in character, I'll be, like... Yeah. I'm no, sorry, what? You didn't know about all of these, man. Curious. I'm going to grab one. Yeah, I'm going to grab one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Kane, yeah. you will be accompanying these people. I bought so much. These fine folks. <laughs> uh, and mm. will be a liaison... Not for the guild. That's what I was scared of. That's yeah. why I, I was like, how are you just eating those? <laughs> Stare, <laughs> daggers. <laughs> at Andrea. And she's going to look at you. Oh, I know, I, know, actually, I know exactly how she's going to respond to me. This but. is not going to be a problem, is it? Of course not. Okay. It is for me. Why? He's a douche. <laughs> <laughs> Do we know this, sir? <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> That's that's very funny. This is Dale for what? Okay. How is a douche? How is one douche? It's like abyssal for some <laughs> for some like horrible curse word or something. That's hilarious. Oh man. Uh. So you want us to take non-guild jobs and then possibly steal from members of the guild and you're sending oh. a guild representative. No, no, no. We will be giving you many of the, of the missions that you're doing. But you do have some free reign to um, 
side missions. Side missions to kind of step in if something seems awry. Uh, Another so, owl bear. Just, just just a kill a bunch of the guild mm-hmm. members again. <laughs> not that you know. I'm sure she does. I'm sure that's not her first name. That's what I was. Asking. <laughs> that might not even be her first name. So be like name number four out of fourteen. <laughs> Got, she got, has got like her, ten passports. Yeah. Got, got her, new, her, her new name in like Jason like, Bourne. In a, in a letter sure. Rolled it. Rolled a fifteen. She's got a special match gate ball. She shakes. That's yeah. my New name. Place. Okay. It worked. Hmm. New name. Who this? I'm trying to think of yes. other mm-hmm. positions uh, that could exist within. Who will be Birdman? <laughs> of the guild. <laughs> Who will know this bird law? Oh, though we must need to know the road. ship's cook. Uh, right. f- f- filibuster. Medic. <laughs> well, you, chef. you don't necessarily have very many people that are qualified to be the medic. That's true. So we have a pattern, I, I you have actually, some folks that can that can heal. No, I have a wisdom of thirteen, Harriet, and I'm proficient in medicine. Harriet can heal. Oh, just so you know, Krishna uh, can heal. Uh, it, I need to get <laughs> healers kits, but I can save life people. I need to get healers kits. Yeah. That's what I need to buy next time with the shield. Um. um what she does is she like closes her uh, her little book and says, "That's all for now." Uh, as, as, as more openings come up, which means as Gerald thinks of more, mm. uh, we will fill those in. We can make Finn secretary of and agriculture. And what we might do is talk over the break um, about what some of those could be. Cool. So I, Sounds I good. like I like input. It's good. Uh, now. Tomorrow is the beginning. This is Andre again talking. Uh, tomorrow is the beginnings of the trials of the Magi. Daimoya. Yes. That's why we're going uh, to, to this place. Yes. Um, from at, at your current location, it will take too long for you to get there to be able to fully do what we want you to do there. So we're going to help you out as far as getting there. Uh, okay. If that's all right. Will the Yeti be able to withstand it? It'll be a magic and all, you know. Rude. <laughs> Sasquatch, <laughs> not a Yeti. My bad. She's brown, not white. This is a race thing. Yeah, it's a race thing. I just made this <laughs> yeah, <laughs> We're colorblind around here. Oh, oh my like white washing That's yeah. really great. <laughs> I'm about to die. Yes, yeah, so we are quite. I, like I'm bleeding in multiple places all over me. Oh yeah. I'm at four hit points. <laughs> he's like, he's uh, like, guys, sit down now. <laughs> but me, uh. Like so, when I came running out of the it. woods with the great sword in my hand, you I was limping. already covered in limping. blood. <laughs> yeah. And you said what uh, bodies? Fair enough. <laughs> he's Basically, bleeding. what they do what is, bodies? um, they. Their bows kind of melt away, and they reach into turn into shadow pouches, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> begin to hand everyone some healing potions. As much healing as I need to, to heal to full. <laughs> now, obviously, this doesn't recover any spells that may have been used or anything like that. Yeah, just health. But your health is now returned <clears throat> to its current maximum. Um, so, go ahead. Can we just chill for a second? Maybe a sh- equivalent to a short rest. Doesn't Harriet not heal from magic? She does. It's just half. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you have to have double the normal. We give you twice as many health. Okay. Potions. Yeah, they like start. How much? Are, they bathe you, you in injured? health potions. Are you pretty heavily injured? Yeah, she's she's down nine hit points. Yeah. So they, one will probably. They uh, two regulars. Yeah. Two, they feed you two potions. regular. I, okay. I say do, do, they do, give. Do. They don't. They can't. They just really. they grab your head. Yeah. And <laughs> pull you down. <laughs> eh. No. Uh, heal up. Everybody heals up. We're good to go. Um, I feel much better. Thank you. I just, I just don't feel that lucky right now, though. Andrea, a, a question <laughs> uh, before you transport lucky. us however you're going to do is that. Okay. What, what kind of payment would I need to put up front to hire the guild to find someone? Mm. Depends on the difficulty of finding that someone. Well, that's why I say up front. Is that like a retainer? You mean as far as uh, like contracting you for a service? Oh, 
I don't personally handle that. So I was thinking I might ask you. You're, you're clearly high up in the game. Well, that's true, but I, I don't do the paperwork. Okay. Yeah. So you'll have to ask someone in the adventurers guild about that. Is that this guy? Yeah. Uh, you want to find down the what is the word I'm looking for? The person you're going to speak to, the the, the person you wish to speak with on uh, in Igniok, the, the town you guys are about to go to, I G N O Y A C. I listen, by the way, if you wish to spell it out. Um, person you wish to speak with at some point is Argus Belchfire. Sweet. Argus Belchfire? A-R-G-U-S. Do you need a pencil? No. Belchfire. Cool, cool. Pencil. Wait, do you need a pencil? Do no, pencil? I have a pen. I'm good. Yeah, I don't want pencils. Um, That'll be my, my role. I'm the keeper of the pencils. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no way. Yeah, Bob. You want pencils? You yeah, Birdman. You got the pencils. Birdman. <laughs> 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 Secretary of Agriculture. Oh, yes. Ignore it was mentioned in that message. Yeah. Oh, sounds familiar. Yeah. There it is. Right here. Yeah. Once you have enough, take Isarod and convert MK. Will uh, convert. MK will not tolerate failure. Gun Gunter. Gunter Ramirez and Ignoyak. SB. SB. And it said madness. Yeah, I, I read that and my I had to do a save, mm-hmm. so let's not read it again. <laughs> yes, yes, you did. So I'm, uh, so she tells us to meet this Argus Belchfire, right? But is this the the local adventurers guild Yes. Or is it Penumbra? He is. Uh, he works with and for the Adventurer Skills. Yes, specifically the Fate Breakers. Fate Breakers. Now you had. There was a posting that we followed back in uh, Fisian to look to, to capture the some missing, missing people and okay. uh, and the groups that have gone missing. That is how we found Harriet. Yeah. And Crank. Oh, Crank. Okay. Crank. And Crank. That soldier boy. You no. <laughs> no. Get what? Out. No. <laughs> um, he can't set me up. Continue. No. Uh, so you're, you already made me a treasure keeper. Hey, I'm, the treasure treasure. Keeper. I'm the treasure keeper. I'm the treasure. I hold stuff. When we, when we went in there to find them, we found mm-hmm. one of the local authorities um, holding them prisoner and sacrificing them to some kind of deities that I'm not aware of. We also found this message, and I handed it to her. Ah. You hand her the, like, decoded one? Yes. I would hand her the other one just to see how fast it takes her, <laughs> but... <laughs> well, she doesn't have the thing. Yeah. So she wouldn't be able to really figure it out. Um, she reads it. Hmm. We don't know who the initials belong to, but S-B. Gunter was the cop. S-B. Uh, S-B. That's Sexy Badger. I have a hide. Possibly, oh, but I don't head. think they would meet in the Penumbra Tavern, that or mm. saloon. Technically, is what it is. Yeah, I don't best know. place to hop from your enemies is right under the nose. Yeah. Well, there is some merit to that. Uh, no. Uh, thank you for bringing this to my attention. I will have uh, okay. some okay. investigations. I just, I just assume since we are heading to East to Ignoyak, and this note mentions Ignoyak by name. Mm-hmm. And Gunter will not be able to show up there, and I can, and I kind of do one of the John, like a John Cena thing, and transform myself into Gunter with, with Mask of Many Faces. And I can do this. I just may help. Handy. Uh, that doesn't change your voice, though, does it? No, I would have to forcibly talk like the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. You know, you, you notice Caleb has that problem, yeah. right? I do. It was very funny. Yeah. And not. Yeah, actually. Okay. Uh, that will likely prove very yeah. useful. Clank. Yes. Uh, 
Andrea tosses you a small pouch. I catch the small pouch. You do. We'll roll for that. Nope. Within it just... are ten green draca. Green draca? Go back and figure out how much that's worth. That's silvers. Ah. No. No, 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 no. That's or platinum. That... Oh. That's a thousand gold or white. That's... He's worth a thousand white draca. I smell it. Whoa, that's like a... Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> that that's, was... that's, that's I have that's red. It's, it's ten. No. It, that's that's a so, conversion. It's ten, right. ten platinum to one gold. Not no. me. Ah. Gerald. Not because, good. Because, master. Okay, so in order to... Because in D&D, 50 coins of any type is one pound. So when you're getting into, like, stupid money, like high-level type shit, it becomes a little... Unwieldy. Now, to be fair, we don't really do money weight because it's annoying, and I don't like doing that. And actually, it's point one. One coin is point one pound. Because I actually had to do that conversion for uh, my group. So ten coins is a pound, actually. Because it gets it gets a little more. Well, then I'm changing. That way. Okay. <laughs> your realm. Hey, it's your it's your yeah. house, man. So, black draca or your copper pieces, right? Red, draw out your silver pieces of sort. Okay, that's, are, I have red and green switched on my list. They are worth... Right. So red is silver. Yeah. 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 And yeah. that's a 10 ratio. So okay. one red is 10 yeah. black. I also have one white correctly. is 10 red. As a, it's intervals of 10 all the way up to gold. One green is 100 white. Ah. And one blue is, is one... Thousand green. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I none yeah. of us have ever seen a blue, blue, or even imagined blue scale. You like can blue, buy cities with that shit. Blue draca. <laughs> a blue draca is worth a hundred thousand white. Yeah. And is typically only used in very large business deals. Yeah, like a few couple um, of those could buy a city. Like you bring, like you bring a briefcase with like three. Yeah. <laughs> like in like right mint condition, yeah. like yeah. framed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're super uh, rare. <laughs> All right. So Stop you have essentially heist. a thousand white draka there, uh, which you <laughs> may use. You got a gap. Yeah. Uh, this Final. this will prove to be very handy as uh, you're about to be going to a place that is. Uh, well, I'm going to be de- describing it to you in a little bit. Uh, Magic. He said blue. Andrea. Is Andrea s- green. speaks up. Green is a hundred. And uh, she says. Do any of you have any other questions before we go? Did, did you just give him money? Yes. No. Nope. Nah, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> uh, it was ten green draka. Yeah. Okay. So it was five green draka. I'm oh, sorry. Eight <laughs> green. Yeah, no, I gotta be fair. Yeah. Split the other two. No, I, just, I don't know what it was. Nah, I, I I may use the money just to repair myself. That's actually the only thing I'll use it for. <laughs> I, have to use it I don't eat, <laughs> sleep. I just need to repair myself. <laughs> That's true. I mean, you, uh, could, you could get one to each of us and keep the rest as our party fund. I do that. That's true. Yeah. I'll flip it around. I'll start flipping coins out. So out of That's ten, fine. We all you, get may do, you may do with it as you wish. Ah, but uh, does it, now, uh, don't worry about Emin. Uh, and, like, you see that the the six other agents like move to just sort of like flank the the cart and they're going to escort it yeah to Ignea at its pace um ready to go okay let's go certainly wait alright what can you drop us my love points can we just chill for like a short short side I just need to chill for like what what's a short rest yeah, you need a short rest. Like 30 hours. Wait, how, long no, is, you how, can't. how long's the journey to the... Why do you need to rest? My luck points. Uh, you can do that. In, we're we're going to go and then go to town. sleep. Huh? Oh, we're going to somewhere. I thought what, we're just what like... Were you say, no, they're, they're oh. teleporting yeah. us to... I'm ready for battle. Oh, all right, how long? <laughs> all right, good, yeah, good. But I'll wait till we get to town. We're good. Okay. I gotta make some piles. But yeah, can you just take us straight to the Dream Bazaar? Sure, all my other piles are expired by now. Dream Bazaar isn't there yet. Are they not there yet? No. We usually arrive a few days early. Uh, well, they're not there just yet. But they should be there soon. No, uh... It's a dream bazaar. We will My bring house. you... We will bring you to the uh, front gate. Take your house with you? Oh, seems inconvenient. And 
Uh, we're in she, a castle with us everywhere. She takes this, uh, she takes out this little chest, she opens it up, she pulls out these little, like, very thin, uh, they almost look like, uh, tattoo papers, like, like, like the ones you put water on, like when you were a kid. Temporary tattoos. Temporary tattoos, kind of a thing. Um, and they all have the symbol of the Free Regiment, which I will describe to you later, because I don't know what it is yet. Uh, can I do some doodles for it? Sure, cool. you can. That's fine. Uh, Doodle. I've got some ideas. And she walks up to each of you. Um, so, before you go, uh, this is how we sort of help you delineate yourself as a member of the Free Regiment of the Fate Breakers. Uh, this can go anywhere you'd like that is able to be shown to people. People that you need to show it to, you know, whoever that may be. It doesn't have as much pull as, say, Penumbra, uh, Penumbra. Penumbra does, obviously, but it has a lot of pull. So he's like going on the back of our hands too? Uh, I want some like hand. I want a full or, metal alchemist thing. Like I want it to be inside. I want mine like, to be like a badge. Like. He wants a full. Can it be like the Triforce? Like in so that where like can, like just like pop up and then like yeah. Officer like, Quetzal like, you. disappear back in like. <laughs> yeah, anyone. you don't need it. But yeah. You don't have one. He's like, but you, you, Triforce. As far as that goes, you outrank the Free Regiment. So for the first time, Carly's going to take his coat off and show that he has tattoos up and down both arms. <clears throat> okay. It's like, I don't know where you're going to put it. Uh, well, it, she puts it, it, on your it, forehead. it fades until you sort of call upon it. So it, it can go... Right on your neck or something. It'll anywhere. glow. And, and, and it glows when you sort of How wheel it to. Okay. And she uh, sort of places it. Uh, and <laughs> it... Um, <laughs> Goes on your leg. Like, work on feathers. Like the uh, Listerine. Like. They're like chicken legs. Yeah. <laughs> well, it be a part it of like the attaches I consider my legs <laughs> and then sort of fades in your figures to your there. skin. Kind of melts away. Uh, uh, there. And then you can you like notice it's there. You can feel that it's there. You can tap it. You can just will it to glow. And then also to fade. It's like a free action to do that. Glow, fade, glow, fade. Mm, whatever you want. I have a strobe light. Look it, at this. It is, it is not, it's not bright enough to like actually shed light, like a torch or anything. It's not that bright. Um, it's, it's actually kind of, it's faint. It's, it's just faint enough that nearby people can see it's it. It's like glow in the dark ink. Yeah. Exactly. Harriet, where would you like yours? I don't know. There's not as much skin. There you go. Covered in fur, yeah. Uh, your, palm. your palms would not be hairy. Oh, that's fair. Well, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I see where you're going. What? I can't. This guy, anyway. Your yeah, palms. That's, that's, that's what I was going to ask for it. It's huh? a guy thing. I was going to ask for it in the th I don't get palm, it. too. Until you got outside. Okay. Um, so, palm might be easiest for you. Left? Yes, left. Left palm. And she kind of just places it there. It like melts away, and it's there. Yeah, you can Iron Man okay. now. Just like light up your hand. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, Talk to the hand. <laughs> Glow. Uh, Free thin. regiment, bitch. <laughs> yeah, same spot. Same spot. Left, left hand. hand. So I can okay. Right hand, so. Yeah. Got it. Krishna. You know what? No, no, no. I want to put it on my forehead. Okay. <laughs> I just like walk, walk up like ah. Okay. <laughs> like, I, I don't know where to put it. It's on my forehead. Sorry, you got it. So it does disappear though. Like it's invisible. Yes. Like, yeah. It you can even like. It's you can like. It's on my forehead. When you will it to glow, you can even, like, the faint outline out. like, is it in, in like, they take it in, it's like uh, a sort of <laughs> standard Artec bluish color. Yeah. Uh, it's it's perfect. Yeah. It's on my forehead. <laughs> Krishna, <laughs> where would you like yours? I'll put it on my head as well. Okay. Yeah. For it, um, I want Blank. to. I want to. Iron Man. The, 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 the sun. Yeah, I want to write it here, like right on my chest. You have to like open up your armor. Yeah, I, uh, I'm basically just wearing like a like a hood, 
And I was, you know, I just actually, like, uh, and this this is um, something that is curious because uh, nobody else has really necessarily tried it. But she, you know, you sort of open it up and she puts it on your chest, and of course it fades. And when you kind of close it back up, when you will it to glow, the outline appears through your armor on your armor. Ah, okay. I mean, it's all at metal. That spot. It's all right there. Right. So, yeah, it just kind of glows right there. Glows. All right. Okay. That's all. Can I have a badge instead? Yeah. I'm not a fan of tattoos. Well, here's the problem with badges. Badges can be removed and stolen. I'll be careful uh, with the problems. Well, I'm sure you will. Not relevant, though. I don't like tattoos. It's not a tattoo. I, these motherfuckers have glow and shit on the <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> it's a magical mark. On my beak? <laughs> <laughs> on your beak. Stay <laughs> close. Hold on. Well, I mean, you can put it on like the top or the bottom of, of your beak. That would be fine. He's super distracting when he's talking. He's just moving up and down. <laughs> Well, he does that anyway. When That's true, and he does it all the time. It never stops. Yeah. It's clock time. <laughs> Ever. Uh, I guess I'll put it on my beak. Fuck it. Might as well. Yellow. Yellow. Okay. Top beak. Top, uh, top, top beak. Top, okay. Boop. Good. She kind of puts it in the center. Can I also have a badge? That dis- oh. Like, it just gets erased if I lose it or something? Just, just for the fun. Psychic paper. That is uh, an interesting idea. Okay. But this is a much more f- more functional method of doing it. I get that. I also uh, want the badge. But the tune it. You your the, input you has been received. Okay. Uh, we'll pass it along to management. We'll pass it along to management. <laughs> Which means she's like, no, Fuck that's freaking stupid. It's like, I am. <laughs> it's a little bad. Yeah, so, size never even go for that, so. She, uh, she says, all right. Good. Now. Maybe like. Ipsh died. <laughs> 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 How are those people come up with these shit. ideas? <laughs> uh, oh gosh, there's. Uh, oh, sorry, the camera went all janky jank. And then you tried to fix it, and it went hammer time. Sorry. Like, <laughs> okay. Now that's all been taken care of. You should be good to go. Um, obviously, if uh, slash when you all. If, if you choose to leave the free regiment, uh, we'll just speak the command word to make that f- go away so it just doesn't work anymore. Easy peasy. Uh, ready to go, I would assume? Yeah. Yes. Everybody good? Yes, sure. ready. Very good. She pulls out a uh, black sphere. Um, about this size, actually. Almost looks like about the size of a smoke bomb. Yeah. And that's kind of what it is, in a way. Um, she kind of has, has you all stand together. And then she... You smell pine fresh. You smell pine fresh. <laughs> and she throws it down in the middle of you guys. Uh, there's a, a like shadow seems to shoot out of it. Encompass all of you, and you can't see anything. Oh, this is weird. Even with like dark vision. Yep. And then when I it lied. when it uh, as it fades as it as it fades around you disperses. You're in a different place. Yes. Of course. Uh, you are standing in front of a large sandstone gate uh, in a sort of desert-like area. Um, not in the sense of a lot of sand per se, but more the like hard cracked ground. Is this the, 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 the area not far gets everywhere? Where we run? Basically a Batman pellet but actually works. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh I don't know if I have my map. Maybe I don't. But we are like right past where we were hiking to, right? So uh the Dragon the Dragon Claw Mountains go down. Uh, so you have from north to south, from north to south, and then yeah. kind of forks. And we were in the gra- grassy part. You were in the grassy part, to the west. over to the west. Yeah. And now where it kind of forks down. So we're in the Henod Desert. Uh, so we teleport across the mountains, basically. You yes, essentially, and, and skip into the fight with some giants, into that 
desert like triangle or triangular yep. Where were we heading from Eastern? We in okay. Inayak. 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 Okay, so we were probably following down like that's over here. Where's, yeah. So so yeah, we we're probably following this road. Yep. And anyway, uh, it is loud. Uh, you can hear like there's a fucking carnival going yeah, on. Yeah. Uh, you can actually see outside of the gate on either side of the road there are rows and rows of tents that have been built uh, where people are well, there's not a lot of people around because it's day, they're all in they're the all city. in town yeah. uh, the gates are open and you can kind of see in and there's uh, it's just a mass of people interesting opportunity for a collecto well, we'll talk about that actually anyway. here, here in a second. Um, oh, Ooh. Oh, see, I smell a heist. With how you guys are sitting, we actually don't have a camera on Tommy, by the way. Ha! Or me, that's, right? That's no, okay. we don't Tommy Tommy camera. Camera. Is there one on me? There is not. A, there is a camera on Eli and Will. That's the one I just fixed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, half of Will. Hey, this one might be able to get you to I'm half the way. Oh, I see me. Some of you... Selling for me. The will is away. <laughs> um, okay. Most of you have not ever been to this city. I've been here. Crowley has. Um, I dare you to find a city I haven't been to. I don't know that... I think my leg came from here. With you. <laughs> uh, anyway. This, this is a, a city. That is in a desert area, and it is home to one of the largest arenas in the world. Uh, on Pydaren. It's, it's not the, the largest. That's in Sartek City, but it is. It's like it's second, like second or third. It's, it's also a it's huge. I feel like in, right. my, in my cooking travels, I may have traveled here a long time. You may have so have have, have, have been here before, yeah. No. Normally, the arena would be filled with people cheering on the brutal battles typical of arenas. Yes. But now, there's a different area to the town. Minor magical trinkets are, to, are widely sold from carts, many with the symbols of the university, uh, which is an open book with, an, with a technos receptacle, uh, which is called the Rectech, uh, lying across it. Uh, let's see. Some of them have symbols of particular teachers, some with the runic M in reference to Merrick, the longtime Archmage, who many of you uh, will Never. recall from the previous campaign. There are tables that have scrolls that have the itinerary for the trials in the uh, kind of like near the front gate. It starts with the apprentice casters and works its way up to day 10 when the masters showcase their power. The ever so slightly magical trinkets are one white draka each, and just give off a faint glow. It's like a little, like little magical baubles that they sell. Um, there are a few more more powerful magic items that you can see for sale. Um, there, it's like Comic Con kind of a thing. It's like a bunch of booths with magical shit that people are selling. Um, Here's some theater like performers seven, just set up with tiny Seven or eight of them have the, the exact same stuff as the, uh, the other ones. Yeah. Yeah, you do get a <laughs> lot of, like, repeats and stuff. Um, a lot of people have those, those little rings that are Are there people walking around arms. dressed as fate? In cosplay. Is there like an oh, Ames, <laughs> you know what Ames cosplay Dude. Yeah, they're probably they're are. Are. You know what? Yes. Yeah. It's yes. like dwarves dressed up as Ulfgar. Yeah. He's going right like, I'm a bad! There <laughs> are seven <laughs> high school You see a, a, uh, quite a number of, of people dressed up as different characters. Uh, clearly not the way that they normally dress. Uh, you see some dressed as... Um, with like a bear mask <laughs> that has like a like a plushy kind of alligator thing over it. <laughs> uh, you you see. I feel like the counterculture would be death elves and all be Eisenschmidt because that's uh, edgy you do and not see okay. Like there'd be seven or eight elves, like that. We've, yeah. If, some elves have like hair caps. Yeah. So that you can't see their bald. hair and like. 
uh, like have some blush on to make them white. Yeah, you know? white caps with like white white face paint and or like body paint. And yeah, white, white face, face accepted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, white. Well, it's, it's the yeah. Uh, <laughs> going that, that going, going, going white face. Um, some are, are dressed as uh, an individual with like blue blue glowy paint around one of their eyes. Ooh, I get that. Uh, right. You see... You see people with, like, fake gold arms? Like, one one golden arm? Yeah. Because that was Ulfgar's thing? <laughs> Indeed. At the end? Yeah. Uh, mostly, though, they're dressed like casters. Yeah. Because it that's, that's, what flashy like. shit. that's what most of these folks are. Um... Okor was a caster, he just did clerical shit. Yeah. The spot that normally holds Sven's coffee shop is instead filled with booths and kiosks selling magical gear, uh, which is also a part of the trials. There are niche areas whereby items of different magical subtypes, like evocation, transmutation, etc., uh, found down different streets, as marked on the map with the itinerary. In large letters, in one corner of the itinerary, it states, All proceeds to go to the university for the procurement of magical materials, spell components, and to pay professors. The cost to see the trials in the arena is one white draka for the second day, two white draka for the second... Uh, I'm sorry, one white draka for the first day, two white draka for the second day, etc. A ten-day pass is 40 white draka, saving 15 uh, white... For, uh, for for perspective, this event, which happens only once per year and in many cities, funds the university for the entire year without too much issue. What does this arena look like? Is it just like a basic coliseum type deal? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, absurd <laughs> amounts of money <laughs> is shored up and changes hands during this but time. <laughs> but it would be equally absurd to attempt to try to steal any of it. Any attempt to steal are met with fairy fire coating the thief, <coughs> an alarm sounding, and a plethora of casters Ooh, to deal fun. with the issue. Now, you don't steal shit from wizards in front of a ton of wizards. It's just yep. dumb. Uh, uh, <laughs> because cast fairy fire I, Crowley. I assure you, <laughs> Stop uh, the alarm. <laughs> you can cast shield only a certain number of times. I, I promise you they can cast magic missile more. <laughs> <laughs> Just this giant flare of magic missiles yeah. just peppering yeah. one dude. A hundred magic missiles. <laughs> ah! Death! Just boom! All dead. Now, uh, you have a whole city to explore. And we will get to that after our first break. Whee! So, we will be back. We shall return shortly. Thank you for your patience, viewers. Oi!